Hello everyone. Welcome to part 71 of our MCQ discussion series. In this video, we'll start our new section of the syllabus, Pet Physiology and Metabolism in Disease. So, so let's start with the first question. In diabetes mellitus, which metabolic pathway is upregulated due to insulin deficiency? Option A glycolysis option b glyconeogenesis option c glycogenesis option d protein synthesis this correct option over option b glyconeogenesis glyconeogenesis ka process to aap log jante hi hai glyconeogenesis tab hota hai jab hamara body mein free sugar hamara cell mein generally free sugar ka source available nahi hota hai then liver ka jo glycogen hota hai usse glucose banta hai jo as a energy source kam karta hai jo diabetes mellitus hota hai due to insulin deficiency or insulin resistance isme hame excessive uh, gluconeogenesis dekhne ko milta hai contributing to hyperglycemia jisme liver continuously glucose produce karta rehta hai when blood glucose level are high which may worsening the condition of uh, diabetes mellitus. So, so let's ask the next question. Which of the following is the primary region for lactic acidosis in sepsis? Option A, increase lactate production due to anaerobic glycolysis. Option B, decrease lactate clearance by the liver. Option C, both A and B. Option D, Increase glucose oxidation. This is correct option hoga, both A and B. Increase lactate production due to anaerobic glycolysis and decrease lactate clearance by the liver. In sepsis, uh, tissue hypoxia and mitochondrial dysfunction results in increased anaerobic glycolysis leading to excess lactate production. At some time, liver function may be impaired. Uh, reducing the lactate clearance and combination of both uh, tissue hypoxia mitochondrial dysfunction and uh, liver function uh, issues uh, this lact lactic acidosis uh, may elevate and it serves as a marker of uh, severe illness and poor prognosis in uh, sepsis so select ask the next question what is the primary metabolic abnormality in patients with liver cirrhosis? Option A, increased gluconeogenesis. Option B, impaired urea cycle. Option C, increased glycogen synthesis. Option D, decreased fatty acid oxidation. This is correct option. Hoga. Option B, impaired urea cycle. Liver cirrhosis uh, may occur. Hepatocytes, hai, matlab, hepa, liver ka jo cells, hota hai, wo damage ho hai, which may impair the urea cycle function leading to hyperammonemia, that is elevated uh, ammonia level in the blood. And this further contributes to hepatic encephalopathy, where neurotoxic effect of ammonia cause uh, confusion, altered uh, mental status, and may further lead to coma. Uh, the liver's uh, ability to detoxify ammonia by converting it to urea is uh, significantly reduced during liver cirrhosis and it is a major concern for chronic liver disease patient. So, so let's take the next question. Which metabolic disorder is characterized by fasting hypoglycemia and hepatomegaly due to glycogen accumulation? Option A, Mac Ardell disease. Option B, Von JK disease. Option C, Galactosemia. Option D, Pompe disease. This correct option is Fen Grickes disease. This is Von Grickes disease. This is glycogen storage disease type 1B, which results from deficiency of glucose 6 phosphatase. This is major role of glycogen breakdown and glyconeogenesis. Mein. In this disease, uh, liver cannot release uh, free glucose 
which may cause severe fasting hypoglycemia and hepatomegaly. Hepatomegaly is enlargement of liver due to glycogen accumulation. It further may cause a lactic acidosis as well. So, this is the case of the in one Greek's disease, uh, hypoglycemia, hepatomegaly, or lactic acidosis. This is the case of So, this is the case So, let's the next question. Which of the following is the primary cause of metabolic acidosis in sepsis? This question we already discussed. So, this option is increased renal bicarbonate reabsorption. Option B, hypoxia induced lactate accumulation. Option C, uh, decrease anion gap. Option D, hyperinsulinemia. This correct option is option B, hypoxia induced lactate accumulation. Sepsis, hota, sepsis may lead to impaired tissue perfusion, which may cause anaerobic metabolism and increased lactate production due to hypoxia. Lactic acid muscle में कैसे produce कर होता है आपका ये तो आप लोग जानते ही होंगे ये common anatomy का सीज़े class 10 to 11 में पढ़ाया जाता है तो lactic acidosis जो होता है it results in high anion gap metabolic acidosis इसको हम हेग्मा भी बोलते हैं इसमें हमारा kidney hydrogen ion को excrete करके ये process को compensate करने का कोशिश करता है but uh, due to persistent hypoperfusion ये जो इशू है ये एक्रिवेट होता ही रहता है तो चलिए देखते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच मेटाबॉलिक पाथवे इज अप रेगुलेटेड इन कैंसर सेल्स ड्यू टू द वर्बर्ग इफेक्ट ऑप्शन ए ऑक्सीडेटिव फास्फोराइलेशन ऑप्शन बी ग्लाइकोलाइसिस ऑप्शन सी बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स ऑप्शन डी पेंटोस फॉस्फेट पाथवे इसका करेक्ट ऑप्शन होगा ग्लाइकोलाइसिस ये तो आप लोग जानते ही होंगे कैंसर सेल्स जो होता है ये एनारोबिक ग्लाइकोलाइसिस को प्रेफर करता है ओवर ऑक्सीडेटिव फास्फोराइलेशन इवन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इसको ही हम लोग वार्बर्ग्स इफेक्ट बोलते हैं इट लीड्स टू इंक्रीज ग्लूकोस अपटेक एंड लैक्टेट प्रोडक्शन प्रोवाइडिंग एनर्जी एंड बायोसिंथेटिक प्रीकर्सर फॉर रैपिड प्रोलिफरेशन PET scans are for cancer detection. It utilizes this principle by detecting increased glucose metabolism in cancerous tissues. Although cancerous tissues detect karne ke liye, jo hum log PET scan karte hain, usme ye glucose metabolism detect karke hi is cancer cell ka presence hum logo ko pata chalta hai. To chaliye dekhte hain next question. Aap aisa question aur bhi dekhne ke liye book consider kar sakte hain. In chronic kidney disease, why is there an increased risk of secondary hyperparathyroidism? Option A, increased phosphate excretion. Option B, increased calcitrol synthesis. Option C, decreased phosphate levels. Option D, decreased calcium absorption due to reduced calcitrol level. Is the correct option? Hoga? Option D. Decrease calcium absorption due to reduced calcitrol level. Chronic kidney disease wala patient mein calcitrol ka renal synthesis kam ho jata hai, which may impair intestinal calcium absorption. Additionally, phosphate retention due to impaired excretion lead to hypocalcemia, which further stimulate parathyroid hormone secretion. And this may lead to secondary hyperparathyroidism, which accelerates the bone demineralization process and increase the risk of uh, fracture etc so silly so dekhte ask the next question in metabolic syndrome insulin resistance primarily affects which of the following pathway option a glycogenolysis pathway option b glucose uptake in adipose tissue option c Beta oxidation of fatty acids in mitochondria. Option D, ketone body synthesis in the liver. This is the correct option. Option B, glucose uptake in adipose tissue. 
metabolic syndrome jo hota hai it is characterized by insulin resistance leading to decreased glut4 mediated glucose uptake in muscle and adipose tissue and this metabolic syndrome results in hyperglycemia and hyperinsulinemia and increase lipolysis contributing to this lipidemia and fatty liver disease as well so sale dekh the next question in hepatic encephalopathy which metabolic abnormality contributes most to neurological dysfunction option a hyperglycemia option b hypo albuminemia option c hyper ammonemia option d hypocalcemia iska correct option hoga option c hyper ammonemia iske bare mein bhi humne thodi der pehle hi discuss kiya tha hepatic encephalopathy mein aapka ammonia detoxification jo process hota hai liver mein matlab ammonia se jo urea banta hai aur urea blood se excrete ho jata hai the help of kidney lekin hepatic encephalopathy mein aapka ammonia detoxification nahi ho pata hai jiski wajah se blood mein ammonia build up hota hai aur ye jo ammonia hota hai it crosses the blood brain barrier disrupting the neurotransmitter function and leading to cognitive impairment asterixis and coma इसमें हम पेशेंट को लेक्टोलोज देते हैं विच एसिडिफाइज द कॉलोन कन्वर्टिंग एमोनिया टू एमोनियम फॉर एक्सक्रीशन तो चलिए देखते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाई डज प्रोलॉन्ग स्टॉफिशन लीड टू कीटोसिस ऑप्शन ए इंक्रीज इंसुलिन सिक्रीशन ऑप्शन बी इंक्रीज ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस फ्रॉम डायटरी कार्बोहाइड्रेट Option C increase fatty acid oxidation and ketone bodies production. Option D increase protein synthesis. Iska correct option hoga option C increase fatty acid oxidation and ketone body production. Prolonged starvation mein jo glycogen store hota hai hamara body mein matlab jo liver mein glycogen store hota rehta hai. उसका डिप्लेशन स्टार्ट हो जाता है विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर टू फोर्टी एट आवर्स लीडिंग टू इंक्रीज लाइपोलाइसिस रिलीजिंग फ्री फैटी एसिड्स एंड हेपाटिक बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन जो होता है इस प्रोसेस में कीटोन बॉडीज रिलीज होता है विच इज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव एनर्जी सोर्स फॉर द ब्रेन ये जो कीटोसिस होता है इट हेल्प्स प्रिजर्व मासल प्रोटीन बाय रिड्यूसिंग द नीड फॉर लाइकोनियोजेनेसिस फ्रॉम एमिनो एसिड्स हमारा बॉडी को अगर फूड सोर्स या कार्बोहाइड्रेट से एनर्जी नहीं मिलता है तो बॉडी पहले जो फैट स्टोरेज है उससे एनर्जी लेने का कोशिश करता है और अगर फैट स्टोरेज भी ख़त्म हो जाए तो उसके बाद जो हमारा मासिल है मासिल को ब्रेक डाउन करके एनर्जी लेने की कोशिश करते हैं तो इसलिए पहले जो फैट स्टोरेज है वो डिप्लीट होता है उसके बाद जो मासिल मास है वो भी डिप्लीट होना स्टार्ट हो जाता है तो आज का डिस्कशन में इतना ही था फ्रेंड्स आपका अगर इस वीडियो के रिगार्डिंग कोई भी डाउट हो तो मुझे कमेंट सेक्शन में पूछ लीजिएगा और जनरल साइंस और जिक्र का क्वेश्चन आपको अगर प्रैक्टिस करना है तो ये टेलीग्राम चैनल आप ज्वाइन कर सकते हो और इस क्लास का पी भी ये टेलीग्राम चैनल में ही आपको मिल जाएगा होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग